So today I'm making my best friend a piñata. He's going to turn 22. It might be a small one though. We'll see how it turns out. So now I'm on the taving part of the piñata. And my dad's like, oh, keep your hope alive. And I'm like, whoa, that's rude, you know. And that's my luggage from just showing up today in case you wanted to know. Spray paint, because I'm planning on spray painting, then gluing, and then adding tissue paper. Blankets, again, you see my life is a mess exactly like me. So, back to the piñata. I finished piñata number one. It looks all trashy. I'll probably post it on Instagram how the finished product comes out. And I'm like, I'm kind of happy it's this small. But at the same time, I'm like, will they be able to bat it open? I don't know, but I just hope they appreciate it. Yes, I am adding candy. So I'm done with these two, and I have time to decorate. So much tape. So, BuzzFeed, your article sucked. Second of all, whoever said making piñatas was easy... Y'all are liars, because I use scissors, and you're, like, recommending exacto knives. Like, I carry that at the tip of my fingertips at my home. I don't, and I'm not going out at the store at, what is it, like, 11 p.m. right now? No, it's 12.33 in the morning, and I'm making a piñata. Yeah, Walmart is open, but I just don't want to go out. I'm lazy. I already made it, so. Yeah, we'll see how the decoration comes out. It will be on Instagram, though. Now we're on the tissue part paper. I think I'm doing pretty well. Also, why does everyone assume you have, like, this weird French tissue at your house or the streamer one? I'm using tissue paper and life hack. Just fold it in half like a rectangle or square and then cut it and then cut it again in half. That's it. 